Okay, hi. I just wanted to do one video, basically, real quick. Actually, I'm going to do two videos before I go. One is going to be on... So this one, it could be on this video I just saw. Um, to me, I don't really see it that way. Like how she was saying, um, she was saying like that, um, black men and white women, uh, there's this private conversation or something I was talking about on that other channel that I was watching just a second ago. I was like, I don't know. I don't. I, I tend to think that that is something that people are guilty of. Does that mean that everyone is guilty of? No. But I mean, like, saying that. Basically, saying that black men are, you know, really desperate for white women. I think, yes, of course. But I think also, black men to me seem really desperate for anybody. To me, I don't know. I was like, they don't act that way normally. From my experience, that's how they act. Like they were saying in the chat, like how they want so badly to be with and like do anything. They are like that. They just, I don't know, something's wrong with them, kind of. But. Is it really something's wrong with them? I always wonder, or is it just the fact that, well, they're black men, and, you know, um, if we really deal with the stats on the situation, black men have a very hard time with dating, as well as black women, um, both do, um, black men, like black women, in our race, we tend to be sexualized, so it's like, Many of the time, we are more likely to be fetishized. So sometimes we might be picked for the one night stand or something, or to be seen as easy. And the reason we're seen as easy is if you look at our history and everything, it kind of shows like the value of black people has always been really low. You know, um, think of slavery, for example, and slavery. They didn't even ask us if we wanted to say yes or no. And that applies to black men as well. Um, both sides had situations like that happen. Your value is at that level. It's so low that you can't even um, decide who you want to be with. Male or female, doesn't matter. Um, then obviously your value is really low back then. You know... Things didn't just change overnight. Jim Crow days happened after slavery. And the same thing basically perpetuated itself. And so to me, I mean, of course black men are desperate. It's like a short, fat guy who's poor. Of course, he's desperate. There are plenty of unattractive white men who are desperate and I mean that's basically the category that I feel black men who are I think to some people maybe attractive like there are plenty of people who are attractive to black men I guess um so I'm saying to those who are attractive now to those that are unattractive they have it even worse because now you're unattractive and you're black like I don't know I'm just talking about being black in itself, not talking about traction or anything like that. But, yeah, to me, I'm like, well, of course, yeah, black people in general have a low value. That's why they have hard times with finding people. And you can look, look at, like, what black men and black women talk about their appeal. Many of the time, they talk about things that are so uh, limited. Don't go to their actual appearance. They always go to like how big their cock is, how big their butt is, you know? And it's like, you know, when someone is mentally degraded themselves to the point where they can only value themselves in their penis size or their butt size, then a war has already been won. 
you know, it's been won against them, of course. Because they already think of themselves in such a low value that the only thing they think of themselves valuable for is sex. And so that's how some people end up being used by other people that are black. This happens interracial or non-interracial, in my opinion. There are black women who love to be used by black men, love to be used by black white men, Hispanic men, Asian men. So there's uh, black men who like to be used by Asian women, black men, black men, yeah, black women, white women, white men, Hispanics, it doesn't matter. People love to be used sometimes because they diminish themselves to that level. When they do that, then they are going to be seen in a very low light because they present themselves very poorly. And then people are only able to gather from how you present yourself. So. I don't know. To me, I don't really see that specific chat to do with black men. To me, I think it's just people who have low self-esteem, you know. And like I said, some people are kind of like just dealing with the situation and being like, okay, I'm willing to be used, even if they don't think that's their only value. You know what I mean? But the reason, but if someone has that kind of value, that's why they have like such broken up families because of that situation, you know. Um, and with single motherhood and absent fatherhood, I don't specifically blame black women or black men. I blame the combination of whoever created it, like the men and the women like it takes two to make a child i'm not going to blame one or the other so that's why i never understood like but yeah that's just basically how i see that whole situation you know um on black men and how they were saying that they were desperate for white women and i i kind of feel like they generally are desperate me in my experience as a black woman it's like they just seem desperate for anyone that applies to white women because they're women it applies to everyone and like i said if you recognize a an unattractive white man many of the time they're desperate too because they're an unattractive white man you know no one wants them they're going to be desperate for anyone it's the same thing by the way, I don't know, I don't care. I'm not attracted to any of those types of men that I just listed. <laughs> For me, you know. I need a I need a nice looking face. I need everything good, but I'm different. Like I, what I like is different from what people generally like, honestly. Like I said in my other video, I don't really care about alphas and all that stuff. If you're an alpha, I'm gonna actually probably challenge you and stuff, so I mean there are women who like different things, so what's unwanted is wanted by somebody, but as a collective whole, what is wanted, what is unwanted as a collective whole will always act like it's unwanted, you know what I mean? And black men fall under that category. So, yeah, that's just my take on that. 